What's going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. A few weeks ago, I got the opportunity of a lifetime to go to one of the largest hacking conferences in the entire world, DEF CON 32. Now, the way DEF CON is structured is all the little niches like lock picking, hardware hacking, auto hacking, all of those are broken up into little villages. And all these villages tend to make their own badges. These badges a lot of times can either have little screens or LEDs or all sorts of different stuff. When I met up with Rabbit from Rabbit Labs, he told me if there's one badge to keep an eye out for, it's going to be from the ICS village. Now, ICS stands for industrial control systems and this is their badge it's called the whale tail oh god those lights are bright now the whale tail is paired off with the free willy board in order to make a really really cool and super useful badge now the free willy actually has a lot of the functionality that a flipper zero has however when you pair it up with the whale tail badge it actually adds a whole bunch of additional functionality I and mean, after doing a bunch of research on this thing i know exactly why rabbit said i had to grab one so today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite badges from DEF CON 32, the whale tail featuring the free willy. Let's go. I had to take it off. One thing I learned at DEF CON is I absolutely hate wearing heavy things like badges around my neck, but that doesn't make this thing any less cool. In fact, it even comes with this cool wrist strap. So it's just kind of like a pit boy. I kind of love it just sitting on my wrist and this is just the free willy board. So the free willy board actually has a ton of functionality completely on its own without the whale tail badge. So let's take a look at some of those features. So for that, let's switch cameras and take a look. But first I want to take just a second to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, PCB way. Where do you think stuff like this comes from? I know it seems complicated. I know it seems daunting, but guess what? PCB way can help figure out the entire project for you. If you have a huge idea like this, they have engineers that are on their staff just waiting to help you out. PCB way makes it so easy to come up with the coolest ideas. They offer multi-layer printing. You can choose your solder mask. You can choose your screen print. You can choose just about anything with PCB way. Plus, are you in a rush? Do you not want to have to do all the surface mount hardware? Guess what? They can do all the electronics for you with their PCB assembly service. But don't forget, it's not just PCBs. They still have all their 3D printing, all their CNC machining, all of their metal fabrication at your disposal. So no matter what the project, I know Halloween's coming up, PCB Way's got you covered. As always, thank you so much to PCB Way. You guys are absolute legends. Let's get back at it. So here is the Free Willy in all of its Pip Boy slash Watch Mode glory. Let's fire it up. Actually, it's the white button. A little bit of flashiness. There we go. And yeah, it says Viva Las Vegas when you load it up. Right now, we have the top row of LEDs right there is sound responsive, which is kind of fun. This is one of the things that I was doing with this when it was in badge mode. Because again, I just thought this looked really cool. So let's briefly go through everything. I know some of the things are washed out, but we'll see as we go. The top row is GPIO. When we select that, it shows all of the different protocols you can use with the free willy board. Now, some of these are also tied to the DEF CON badge, the whale tail. So we'll take a look at that in a second. So let's go back. There we go. We have I squared C. Obviously, if we select that, there's nothing attached to it. So it's going to say right down at the bottom, you can't see it says whole found zero devices. You can't see because it it's washed out. Let's see if I can turn this down a little bit. OK, actually, a little bit less exposure looks a lot better. Cool. So yeah, we have GPIO, we have I squared C, we have SPI. Then obviously we also have UART. All those things I don't really have anything to test on right now, but those are actually what make this thing as useful as it is. So now we'll see just like our Flipper Zero, we have IR. So if we select that, we can just take one of these, you know, cheap little light remotes. And you can see if I press buttons on here, boom, it's capturing it again, just like a Flipper Zero. So if I want to relay those or replay those, all I have to do is hit play. And boom, it'll send those exact codes back out. Now we also have radios. Right now, this has dual CC1101s on the side tuned to 415 megahertz. This thing can actually do most of the same frequencies that Flipper Zero can. Now if we select this to read and put something like our car key in here. One of the problems I ran into is it doesn't seem to be reading. So if I press a button, I'm not getting anything out of it. I can switch to radio too. Still nothing. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Change the hex. What does that do? No, main. Now, there may be an update to the firmware on this that I need to look up. But right now, I have not gotten that stuff to work super well. Now, I know these guys are working hard on the firmware for it, and they even admit on their documentation that, you know, their front end is only about 80% complete. Now, we even have scripts 
just like the Flipper Zero. Now, I don't have any scripts on here right now. I know they do have some files that allow you to control these color changing bracelets that people had on at DEF CON, but I don't have those files right now. Yeah. Now we can also go down into sensors and then this is where you ran into the microphone So I was basically using the free willy board as a badge on the whale tail just like this So anytime I talked this was moving and it was kind of fun. There is also an accelerometer on here So this is pretty fun You can just move this around and you can see the accelerometer goes off and it has the top buttons or the top lights show off the accelerometer So I did this for a while too it's really cool. It just shows how much tech is really jammed into this little device. It's very, very fun to play with. All right, we'll go back to the main thing. And then you can also control the light show up here. So let's see what this goes. Obviously, probably a flash warning for you guys, but we can go to rainbow selects. There we go. It's pretty fun. Again, it's going to be very bright, so hard to see. Snowstorm. Okay, it's a little bit less bright. Red chase is exactly what you thought it was. Rainbow chase. That's really hard to look at oh that hurts my eyes blue chase is fine green dot pale blue dot it actually plays a sound in the background i have no idea what's going on but it's playing a sound blue sin which is more super flashiness white fade not bad bar graph okay i'm not sure if that does anything but i guess that's a bar graph xylon audio this is what i had it on for most of the time and then the accelerometer which you can also have it set up so that's pretty cool I think that's pretty much it main yeah. Now, this thing also has a soundboard, which is actually very annoying. <laughs> There's really no good use for any of this stuff. It's just kind of yells at you. Let's see if we can hear on the... <laughs> yeah, so we have a bunch of those. Not super useful, but, you know, it's fun to have anyway. Now, let's get this thing out of watch mode and get it plugged into the whale tail. Okay, so this whole process really couldn't be easier. They both came with some Velcro, and then it's a little... Not really that awkward, but the way the ribbon cable plugs in is, I guess, slightly awkward. Ugh, done it a bunch of times, so it plugs in really easily now. And then it just folds down, and it's on. Fire it back on, and now we can see we've got even more cool stuff going on here now that does have two capacitive touch buttons which will effectively make this thing impossible to see anything so if i press one of these there we go it turns on the leds these are all actually neopixels these are all individually addressable and with updates to the firmware you can actually change them in different ways as well i'm going to restart this to get these to turn off so we can see what we're doing now i'm actually going to leave it powered down for the moment because i want to talk about these for a sec now let's not forget where this badge came from it's from the ics or industrial control systems village which means that these guys are industrial system controllers so it's got four channels the first channel here is what's called modbus not to be confused with mbus it is a client server data communication protocol. What's nice is that it's royalty free and it's actually become one of the main standards for industrial communication. All right, so now we're over here at the second channel. Channel two is called CANFD. It's the second generation of CAN bus protocol that we talked about earlier. It's a data communication protocol that has a flexible data rate, hence the FD. This protocol is widely used in vehicles. You can see my video on CAN bus vehicle hacking with the Flipper Zero and can transfer data up to five times faster than the previous this generation of CAN bus, making this thing right here super, super useful. Moving on to channel three, this guy is 10 base T1L. It is a two wire ethernet protocol that's used to carry data up to a kilometer at a speed of 10 megabits per second. This protocol is actually usually used in things like HVAC controllers, room controllers, and lighting. And then over here at channel four, this is a sensor simulator. This is commonly used in automotive applications where you need to quite literally simulate a sensor. Things like O2 sensors, you can use it for resistance simulation, voltage simulation, sine wave simulation, O2 sensor simulation, crankshaft position sensors. I mean, all sorts of cool stuff. Again, super useful. What's also really interesting about this board too is right up here, you can barely see it, but right here, that is a Raspberry Pi 2040, meaning that this whole board itself is actually useful without the free willy at all. You can just hook it up directly with serial through uh, USB and then control all of these different outputs which is extremely useful and that's honestly what i love about this thing yeah it's just a badge right viva las vegas. and yeah it just says viva las vegas every time you plug it in but for how wacky it is and how kind of silly it seems this this is a whole suite of tools that actually can be used in everyday life for all sorts of different applications and yeah i know it looks a little wacky and i do believe they have a version of this coming out that's going to be less badgy more usefully but 
I mean, even as it sits, this thing is an absolute monster workhorse. So yeah, that's just a brief introduction to the Free Willy and the Whale Tail Badge. I really want to go even more in depth on this thing, but honestly, a lot of the protocols I'm not even super well read on. I also wanted to wait and make sure there was an opportunity for you guys to get one of these yourself. Now, I know they're working on getting these out. I think there even is an Amazon store for them. So if they are available, I will add that link to the description of the video. As I said before, this is the only badge I actually bought from one of the villages. However, there are a ton of really cool badges out there. And I am desperately trying to get my hands on some of those badges. I might have a line for one of the blue team village badges or at least some good B-roll from it. So keep an eye out in the future. And hey, if you happen to have a badge and want to donate some time with it i'll send it back to you and i can make a video on it please leave a comment down below as always thank you guys so much if you've gotten this far in the video you guys are absolute legends please make sure to like comment subscribe turn on notifications it helps me out a ton you guys are the best and we'll catch you next time